Number 56, letter A. Cherry red embers in a fireplace are at 850 degrees Celsius and have an exposed area of 0.2 meters squared and an emissivity of 0.98. The surrounding room has a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. If 50% of the radiant energy enters the room, what is the net rate of radiant heat transfer in kilowatts? All right. So we're talking about net rates. We're going to be using this formula over here. All right. I detailed this formula in the prior problem number 55, so check it out. Uh, we basically have the net power here will be equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity of the object we're talking about. All right. Multiplied by the area uh, of the the surface area that is uh, upon which radiation is occurring, and then multiplied by the temperature differential, basically raised to the fourth power. You better have these temperatures in Kelvin, no more Celsius. Okay, I explained that in number 55. One thing I may or may not have, I don't remember, is the emissivity. Uh, emissivity for a beautifully pure black body that radiates heat perfectly, the E value is one. If the object beautifully reflects heat, never absorbs it or whatever, um, then the E value will be zero. All real objects will fall somewhere within that continuum, but anyway. All right, so why don't we just find, forget about the 50% mumbo jumbo for right now. Let's just calculate the total amount of net power, okay? So uh, what do we know? So P net will be equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant. Here it is on the right-hand side. You gotta memorize it, or you might be given it, I'm not sure. 5.67 times 10 to the negative eight. The emissivity they told us, which was 0 0.98, that's great. The area, they tell us that, great. Exposed area of 0.2 meters squared, so 0.2, I don't have to do any conversions there. And now the temperature difference. So you know that the cherry red embers, right, are, are going to be um, leaving, uh, excuse me, the heat is leaving the fire and entering the room, right? So from the perspective of the fire, this answer should be negative. From the perspective of the room, the answer should be positive. So you just have to consider what you want to calculate in order to set this up so that it's positive or negative. If the first object is larger, you know, if the first temperature is larger than the second, obviously this works out to be positive. If the first is smaller than the second, obviously this works out to be negative. So it's totally, you know, dependent upon what you want to calculate. They're asking us, what's the net rate of heat transfer in kilowatts? I guess, I, I guess we're trying to find it into the room. It doesn't really matter. Just find the magnitude. All right, so I'm just going to plug in the larger value first, so 850. Now remember, though, this has to be converted into Kelvin, so 273 plus then 850. That's going to be 1,123 Kelvin, so that's raised to the fourth, minus then the 18, 18 degrees Celsius, so 273 plus 18, so that's going to be 291, 291 Kelvin. Oh, that got mixed up, right? 291 raised to the fourth, and now all you got to do is simply just solve. So this 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8, multiply by 0.98, multiply by 0.2, multiply them by this difference. So 1123 uh, raised to the fourth power and minus 291 uh, raised to the fourth. Okay. So this is going to be about uh, 8, uh, yeah, 17, well, 1.76 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, watts. Right? So this is in watts. This is the total amount of energy that's being radiated. Total. Now they said just if 50% of it is, okay, so let's just take that part first. So just multiply this thing by 0.5 to find half of it, right? Or 50%. So times 0.5. So what do we get? We get about 8.80 8 or so times 10 raised to the uh, third now watts. So that's the amount entering the room, right? And then they wanted to find it in kilowatts, okay? So then we just got to take this value and then divide it by 1,000, or in other words, it works out to be 8.80 kilowatts, okay? And that would be now uh, the answer. I mean, that should be fairly straightforward. And does the answer support the contention that most of the heat transfer in the room and fireplace comes? Yes. Great. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.